At LockDog Security, our mission is to help you protect your people and your property, and we do that through answering commonly asked questions, trying to give you a little bit more understanding about some of the commonly asked questions that we have, and today we're going to be doing that again, right, Eric? Exactly. All right, and today's question is, what is a key fob system? This is something that... I think a lot of people interact with maybe just what you see here or maybe the uh, the credential that they carry around. Well, what's the back end? What makes this up? And, and as you're looking to do this on your facility, what are the questions that you need to be asking? What are the, the, uh, the, the things that you need to take into consideration as you're preparing for it, right? Yeah, absolutely. So getting calls from customers, um, we always encounter people who call in, we want a key card system, we yeah. want a key fob system, you know? And I got thinking, I was like, a lot of people have a different definition for those. You know, they might think it's something that it's not necessarily. Sure. So um, brought along a few components of that today, kind of the base components. Um, here we've got the power supply, which you can see is the biggest component, mm -hmm. um, the main panel here in the center, and then we've got a card reader, and then the electric strike. Okay. So basically, I'll kind of take you through uh, exactly how these components work. Now, um, real mm -hmm. quick, quick for you, Eric, is this every scenario ever? Is are, Will these all of these components always be used, or can some of these exchange out for different, different uh, components based off of the... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So definitely uh, we can do different power supplies for di uh, uh, larger systems. Sure. We can change panels for larger systems. This is in particular a two-door controller, so mm -hmm. we can only control two doors. Uh, card readers can be different. We can incorporate keypads into those. Yep. And then electric strikes as well can be uh, switched out for a mag lock or any type of other locking mechanism. But each each system has these base uh, fundamentals. Exactly. Very yeah. Cool. So this kind of illustrates a, a base scenario. Very cool. So, All right. Yeah. So here we've got a power supply. Um, for obvious reasons, it's called a power supply. It supplies power yeah. to the main panel. So you can see here kind of the main board inside of it uh, plugs into basically just a wall outlet, a 110 outlet. Um, next, what this does is it's going to plug into the main panel here. Uh, this is, as I mentioned, a two-door controller. Um, so basically you can see how complicated and intricate a two-door controller is. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts in here, um, a, a lot of aspects that go into designing one of these systems. Yep. So basically the power supply ties into the panel, supplies the power. Uh, from the panel, we've got a wire, specifically uh, a 22 6 wire, which you can see hanging out of this device, which is the card reader. Mm -hmm. So we've got a card reader here with, that will hook back to the panel. Mm -hmm. the panel communicates with the card reader and also the panel communicates with the strike, which is the locking mechanism here. Um, so basically, uh, the power goes from the power supply to the panel and then when someone comes up and presents their card to the card reader, like so, it's going to communicate through the wire back to the panel. The panel is going to say, does this person have access to this door? Mm -hmm. If the answer is yes, it'll send a power or uh, it'll send a signal, sorry, through the uh, to the electric strike to release the door. And then, then boom, it's released and you have the ability to open it up. Exactly. All yeah. right. So the, and, and I would imagine that most people, are, you know, they're using that fob or that card and they're presenting it uh, at the card reader and all of the stuff in the background doesn't really matter because they're just wanting to pull the door open. But yep. the interesting, uh, interesting part about this is there is a lot of processes happening in the back end at a millisecond moment's notice to make, to make that action happen. Yep. Um, and they're all necessary to provide the, the level of, of access and permissions to the person that just wants to come up there and swipe their fob and, and get into the building. Exactly. Yeah. There's a ton of moving components basically that are a lot of da data being, you know, transmitted in yep. order to make that happen. Uh, basically in yeah milliseconds, like you mentioned. And, and I think another component uh, or another part of this to discuss is the fact that all of these different components are, again, like you said, flexible. So there's a lot of variables based off of size of system. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also the understanding of all of uh, the reasoning for the back end installation. A lot of times people only see maybe this or maybe they only see the card reader and they're, they're not aware of everything else on the back end that exactly. is kind of making up the system and giving it some of that flexibility. Yeah, absolutely. And as we add doors, as we add openings, it's going to add a lot of uh, a lot more components. Obviously, mm -hmm. you know, every door needs a card reader. Every door needs a locking mechanism. And then as we go up in project size, we're going to need a larger panel as well.
So, Eric, it is interesting. On this system here, you, you're not showing a computer. So mm -hmm. uh, I think it, it's a typical understanding that you have all of these and you also have a computer to, to put in the user information and to manage the schedules and, and do sure. all of those things. Yep. So how would you go about assigning the key fobs to the to the, the users or the, the employees that are going to be getting in the building. Yeah, so the new way of the world is cloud-based stuff, right? So uh, this particular system uh, is cloud-based. So basically, you can make changes to the system from anywhere in the world, from any device with a web browser. So it eliminates that need for the uh, computer to be in a dusty old room where you have to go visit the computer every time you want to make a change to the system. Very cool. So it's, it's not even necessary to have a computer to run it. It's all being done through the cloud. So you pay, basically connect the internet to that. Yep. And now is that done through Wi-Fi? Do you have to run a cable to it? What's the process for that? Yeah, so this particular panel actually is Wi-Fi capable. Okay. Um, the more reliable approach is to hook it up with an Ethernet cable, which is what we always recommend doing. Uh, we can hook them to Wi-Fi, sure. um, but definitely the more reliable solution is to go with a hardwired connection. Very cool. Well, mm -hmm. uh, Eric, thank you for sharing that today. This is in interesting information, the major components that are required mm -hmm. for a key card system or a key fob system, and maybe something that'll give you a little bit more information. If you're looking to do this, some questions you need to ask, what kind of power supply are we using? What kind of controller? What kind of card reader? What kind of locking device are we going to be utilizing for our system? So uh, if you would like to find out more information about this, you can click the link below to connect with us, or you can give us a call and we'll be happy to chat with you, explain this in further detail and, uh, and see what exact system is right for you. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.